2006, a year that the seventh generation of game consoles released. Some may think that 2006 was the best year of gaming, but to me, it exists as a painful memory, one that will just not go away. I got a Nintendo Wii for my seventh birthday on November 28, 2006, about nine days after the Wii launched. I still remember the moment when my dad gave me the present, and then I quickly ripped it open. Wow, a Wii! Thanks, Dad! I said in happiness. After that, my dad had a bit of work to do, and I begged him to help set it up. When he was done, he finally helped me set up the Wii in the living room. What surprised me about the Wii was the controller. It reminded me more of a TV remote. After my dad set it up, he left me to play. I was going to play Wii Sports, but something else caught my eye. The Mii Channel. So I opened that up instead. But when I got into the Mii Channel, there was a single me there. I clicked on him and found out that the Mii's name was Etaled. The name Etaled didn't make sense to me until I looked more closely into the letters and found that it was backwards for delete. I took a good look at Etaled. He was bald, with a big smiling mouth, giant eyes, and a small nose. He started to creep me out, so I deleted him. I then decided to make a me version of me. So I clicked the button to make a new me and named my me Kyle, because that was my name, Kyle. But when I went back to the me plaza area, Edelard was back with the same creepy look, so I deleted him with the first chance I got. I was a little creeped out, but I decided to forget all about it and play Wii Sports. I liked Wii Sports. It was a compilation of five sports, tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing. I decided to play bowling because it was my favorite sport. My me was in a bowling alley with other me's and occasionally I see the me in the lane next to mine do their throw. And I did see it. The me got a strike and turned around to celebrate. But the me's face looked exactly like Edeled's. And I assumed it was him. So I quit Wii Sports and went back to the Me channel. Before I could delete Adelaide, a dialog box appeared saying, Why are you trying to delete me? I started getting creeped out, and I spoke out. What, 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 what do you mean? I said. I didn't think it would have hurt me, but strangely it did. <laughs> it said. I then spoke out again. I... I just don't want you on my me channel, I'm, I'm sorry, I said, and the words changed again. Oh, really? Me's have feelings too, you know. How would you feel if I deleted you? It said, and that's when I realized I was talking to Edeled. The dialogue box disappeared and it revealed the scariest picture I've ever seen. It was a picture of Edeled's face, with the same creepy features, but more gruesome. His eyes were replaced with gaping holes of blood pouring down. I was so scared that I clicked the home button and ran to my dad. He was on the phone, so I waited for him to finish. D -d dad th there's something wrong with my Wii, I said in a scared voice. I led my dad to the living room, and I turned off the home menu. And surprisingly, it looked normal. My dad said I was probably just playing too much and that I, and that I should take a break. So I did. I pressed the home menu button again and took a 15 minute break. But when I came back to the Wii and turned off the home menu, an animation played of my me being deleted. And then a dialogue box appeared saying, Goodbye, Kyle. And then the Me channel automatically turned off and went back to the home menu. I tried to get back into the Me channel, but every time I did, a dialogue box appeared saying, We deleted you and it would take me back to the Wii menu. And I soon realized that, that Edeled had somehow deleted me in a way that I couldn't make any more Miis. So that meant, no matter what game I played, I always had to play as Edeled.